Welcome back. In the previous part, we did the Queen's Blood that was available around here in Cosmo Canyon. But we've also been following Red up to the observatory. So where's he going? Oh, a lot of green here. I like this. I do like this. Can we look through one of these? Oh, that's a shame. Would have been nice if I could. Wouldn't see anything but blue, I imagine, but, you know. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small, with whom we share our home. Am I? It is that which comes from beyond the confines of this world, that which disrupts the natural order, the other which may attempt to claim and consume the planet. And so I bid you, her children, to join hands and come together, for united, we shall never succumb to fear of celestial calamity. Feels like they're speaking about Genova there. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wilkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Floaty orb. <laughs> Is no one going to question the floaty orb? Alright, where's Red gone? I'm checking out the observatory. Oh, hello. Only those who have the key as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Oh. Where did you go, Red? Don't know. He could have jumped up anywhere, couldn't he? Don't know. Just steal his stuff that he's been growing for ages. Hello. This is very nice. Huh. Why do we have to investigate that? Ooh. 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 Let's just investigate loads of things, isn't it? Like, yeah, just look at everything. Which is nice. We have Professor Gas to thank for a full half of the research materials archived here. Indeed. Sarah. It's another Sarah. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. Just wonder if there's other references around. We've all been worried sick about Nanaki. Fellow Bugenhagen. Working here is an incredible honor. But there could be references in the pictures and stuff like that. That's obviously a moon cycle, I think. I say obviously, and then I'm like, hold on a minute. The stars have taught us countless lessons over the years. Haven't they just? You? Oh. I wonder if this is the location, because there's a device. Hmm. Maybe it's in there. Maybe it's in there. I'm going to keep looking around before I investigate anything. So I don't want to miss something. Let's see if there's any pictures. Anything that could be a nice reference to some of a Final Fantasy. Or a direct link, say, to Final Fantasy X or something like that. 
Because we know those games are connected very, very loosely. But still connected. Ooh. I'm liking this. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. Little clock there. Another telescope. Mind your manners in front of them. Alright, let's start investigating things. Ooh, can I start here? Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. I mean, to be fair, we can kind of see to the edge of the galaxy just with the naked eye. It's just... You know, won't be as sharp as a telescope. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Mayhaps, mayhaps. What else have we got around? Hmm. That again, huh? We won't look at that yet. Ah, oh, can we not investigate other things now? Like, no, 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 there was other things. Hmm. Well, luckily, I did make a save before we started this part, so... Let's have a look. We don't want to miss things. Right, these rocks. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is, in fact, a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Hmm. That's the way up. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. The planet and the stars around it? You mean it's just the sky from the looks of it, but okay. I like these chairs. They look comfy. Very comfy. What else was around? Ha ha ha. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, those devices are testing the pull of gravity. You mean they just fell? It's, it's what you mean there, but okay. We have Professor that records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Kick it! What is that? Not sure... We have Professor Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Oh, look at the airship there. Huh. That's cool. Still things I'm noticing even now. Right, so we wanted this one especially around here, didn't we? <laughs> Do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Oh my. We've all been worried sick about Nanaki. Right, is there anything else we haven't investigated at this point? Because obviously now I need to go investigate the st oh, oh yeah, this thing. This was the thing that made me like, hold on. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm. Though I suspect it can't detect much now. Oh, that's worrying, isn't it? <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. Oh, very well. <laughs> Have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. Aren't they just? Right, let's get the ones we got up here, which I think was just the telescope. Oh, yeah, the balloon as well, wasn't it? 
like, yeah, 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 mate, 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 we, we, we done, we done the balloon, we done the balloon, we know that one. Make sure we pick up the stuff again, from our perspective. Was there anything up here that I could pick up? I think there was, wasn't there? The lights we observe like something outside? To us from the far reaches of no? No. Misremember. Oh, no, it was here. Yeah, there we go. Didn't misremember. There was stuff. Oh, we know about that. Thank you very much, mate. What about the bit in the middle? No. Right. We should be good now. Rumbling. Hmm. That again, huh? Cries of the planet. <gasps> That's the planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. I like how he's kind of dismissive of that. It's like... It, it is interesting, though, because I thought he was going to go with the approach of what are the weapons but the cries of the planet? And it'd be like, oh, yeah, that's a good point, mate. That's a good point. But no, he went with, nah, you might have Mako poisoning. You should see a doctor. Like, oh, fair enough, then. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a little bit of a sense of humour to him, so... Ooh. Oh, that's what we saw on the picture! Downstairs! Oh! I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then. Without further ado. Can't wait for this. I've been waiting. This was amazing in the original when it happened. Maybe we should close the doors? No, oh, no, we're okay. It gets dark. I loved this bit in the original game, I really did. Wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. Come on, show the full thing. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Yeah, there's the black hole for no reason whatsoever. It's just there. Behold, the planet we call home. Gaia. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. But what about Spitter? And like all living things, man is fated to die. So... What happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. Like a stream of life. 
to the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. The name makes sense. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It's like one giant materia, when you think about it. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. Star? Star? Planet, mate? And, if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Crumble to dust. Oh. Yep. I don't know how it falls, though. There's no gravity in space in that context. It was probably for dramatics. Of course. These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? Good question. I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Well, he clapped. Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Hmm. I do think Tifa's question is important though, because where does Mako energy go? Because Mako energy is the live stream and then it transforms into different energy. Like, similar to the conservation of energy that we've got going in our universe. So, gets transformed into other energy, but then that gets transformed into something else. Surely it would be possible, maybe not at the moment, but maybe it would be possible that that gets transformed back into life energy? Is that possible? Is there a way to refuel the planet? Hmm. Hmm. Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <coughs> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Good question from Cloud as well. Like, if we can't do my idea of, like, somehow returning energy to the planet, making that part of the cycle, making Mako part of the cycle, and how we use it, then could we make the planet's life energy stronger? Good question, Cloud. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. Hmm. I, ho I hope they explore these questions in this seminar. Because these are good questions that 
that would need answers. There's probably simple answers of like, no, we can't do that. Like, oh, okay. But I'd like the questions to be explored. Interesting. All right, so we want to head down to the seminar place that we saw. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Oh. Is that down here? Yes. What we got? A clock? Can I take the clock? Can I, does it, there's a clock. Can I take this? Mate? Can I, can I take the clock? He's not responding. We can't take the clock. We having that? Ooh. Anything interesting in here that could be a reference to something? Hmm. There's a hat. Oh! I like this picture of one of the springs. Turtle shell. Of a skull. He, he likes to collect his skulls, I imagine, yes. Ooh, there's more down here. Oh. That's gotta be red, isn't it? That little pup there, the cub. That material? They were. Oh. Some lovely pictures in here. to think you could miss this because it's optional. I doubt anybody would though, surely. You'd want the extra stuff, so. What's up here? Ah, probably a weapon for Nanaki. Nanaki. Oh no! Okay, a weapon for Kate Sif, as you'd obviously expect in um, Cosmo Canyon. Yep. Alright, mate. How you doing? Oh, sorry. Right this way. Thank you. I like that that took us down there, though. Right. Let's get going. I like the windmills. Very nice design in these windmills. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh. There's Yuffie. Yuffie! Put your faith That's the wrong button. Mother. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. I won't let her know that I found a chakra materia. Oh my. Barrett! Look at this! They're holding some festival today called the River of Lights. Thinking it could be worth checking out. Look at that sunset though, like, oh. It's lovely. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. What? Mate, you're over there! I'm assuming that's Kate Sif. Because that's what the blue dots are. Or representative of where the characters in my party are, so Kate Sif is all the way over there. We need only open our hearts to the Like where where is he? He's up there, but on what floor? It's just outside of town? Doesn't feel right. Hmm, unless he is out of town. And then that raises questions as to what you're up to over there, Kate Sif. Like, what is this location, though? 
I'm not sure, because obviously that's not there. Because I'm looking over there. It's like, it's like he's here. Yeah, it's like he's there, which is there. Okay, so we could potentially get to him. Assuming that's just not the location where he was asleep, but I don't think it is. I was going to say, somewhere around here. There he is. These tomes are ancient. How they haven't turned to dust, I'll never know. Ah, that classic old book smell. One whip and you're transported to another place in time. Well, that was worth it. Okay, so let's go back up. I'm going to be coming. And see about the seminar. Look at that, though. Look at that. Ah. Do you like the sunset look? Unless it's been really long. And that's actually sunrise. Could be. Could be. There's another Saturday we just went past, in case you're wondering. Hello. Can we run faster? No? Okay. Doesn't even respond. A seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've um, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he he used to say it was a waste, me spending all Oh well, yes, yes, yes. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Need direction. Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. All right, clap, clap. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. He was no help whatsoever. Let's basically come back and try again later. No help whatsoever. I'll see you at the festival. What kind of seminar was that? That was no help at all for her plight and her, her thoughts. No help whatsoever. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, so... What I might do... Is use this as a place to end this part after we speak to these two guys. Ah, the river of lights. Once a year, 
We gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. No. The River of Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. Maybe then we'll get the answers we need. Because maybe the River of Lights is something to do with the live stream. These guys will see something's up with it because of the whole Sephiroth Whisper battle Genova thing going on down there that Tifa saw. Maybe they'll get some aspect of that and be like, all right, we need to listen to Tifa. What, what does she have to tell us? Maybe. Maybe we'll find out in the next part when we go check out the River of Lights. Ta-da for now.